What's going on, everybody? It's Philly Carnage here, bringing you back episode three of the Lions rebuild here. If you guys are just tuning in, go back, check out the first two videos, year one, year two. Uh, obviously, something happened there in one of the first couple years. Uh, Deuce Staley is now head coach. Matt Patricia ended up getting fired. So it's a rebuild within a rebuild because now we need to transition this Lions team to something that more fits fits Deuce. So with that, we're going to throw Carry on Johnson up on the trade block with the since we had the addition of Leonard Fournette. We still have DeAndre Swift, so we're not giving up on him. He's still a rookie. Pretty much still that rookie contract. Only 23. So entering the third year here. Uh, and really, if you if you look at it, he he's still pretty much a rookie. He barely has any. So last year, he had you know actual attempts. First year... I wouldn't really even say that counted. 40 attempts, not even averaging three yards to carry, two touchdowns. Barely even getting in. So we're going to give him, let him keep rocking, hopefully bringing in that power back of Fournette uh, will really help him improve his game. We're still rocking with old Matt Stafford. Uh, offensive line remains the same. Defensively, Nothing, nothing's really changed. Akuda, still our best player. We got old uh, Zach Harrison here. I wouldn't really say old, but he's a right end, two seventy four. He's a smaller size defensive tackle. I mean, it, we got him playing as DT. Guess we'll see how he does. He's six six, two seventy four, twenty one. Right out of uh, Ohio State. It'll be interesting to see what we got there. Linebacking core. Still the same minus uh, Jared Davis. Uh, we still got Tavai. But yeah, so here we go. We'll get into year three of this five-year rebuild with our new head coach, Deuce Staley. All right, so I know uh, I did just show that we were running out of three. Four. We actually... We we switched that up. Uh, we went up there. We adjusted Deuce's schemes. We're going to try out the more of the 4-6. It better fits us. Uh, so we'll go. We'll rock with that. See what we can see what we can do. All right, here we are. End of week one. We're actually uh, going into week three. But week one, we suffered a loss 24-20. To Washington. Let's see what we did wrong here. Trevor Lawrence, obviously, they moved on from Dwayne Haskins there. Uh, Stafford, 200 yards, one touchdown. Rushing. We still don't ha really have a rushing game. Carry uh, on Johnson still getting the touches. We haven't had any offers for that. We might have to annually try to move him. I mean, they're, they're trying to run the ball, but. It's still spread over three. Nobody really gets gets going. Receiving Cepus, 76 yard holiday, second there. Defensively, Tavai led the team in tackles. A couple TFLs there. Actually, a lot more than I thought. Had two sacks, no interceptions. Week two, we suffered a 34 to 20 divisional loss to the Packers. We had, you know, Stafford still doing good. Five touchdowns, no interceptions on the year. 238 rushing. From you give up 160 some to two people, and can't even get 25. Fournette, there, there's still that issue there. Uh, receiving Cepus, you know, still having you know decent year. Uh, 
Vi again led the team. Uh, had some multiple TFLs. Uh, so on our team, a couple sacks. And no interceptions again. So we'll keep going. We'll probably jump in. I think we'll jump in against the Jets. Oh, give us at least one opportunity to win. Even though it's me doing it, so we'll probably still lose. All right, coming in here at the end of week three, another brutal loss, 35-16. And another divisional loss there to the Vikings. Stafford, 248, one interception. Fournette, 13-43. Receiving Hawkinson, Justin Ross, you know, played, played well. Galladay, big drop-off there. Defensively, Okuda led the way, 12 tackles. You know, multiple TFLs there. No sacks. Two interceptions. So at least the interceptions are a little up, but still not the greatest. Uh, Galladay's not happy there after that performance. He wants more touches. At the whole stop the losing streak, Trey Flowers. He's upset. Rightfully so. You know, try to go and you know get these corners a little boost. Uh going against Josh Allen and the Bills. Of course, they want us to get three interceptions. Or, you know, got the typical X Factor. What can we do to stop them? So, but yeah, we really need to figure out what's going on with this team. Find the true identity. So yeah, well, against the one one and one Bills, it might be eventually. It might be time to finally get that first win. All right. So as you can see up there in the top, we suffered another loss, twenty four seventeen. We're now sitting here at you know zero and four. Galladay, he's happy. He at least had the opportunity to make plays. He fell short. Trey Flowers, this is now his second attempt, you know, showing he wants to be a leader, and it has failed for him. Uh, we do now, we're now frustrated at the running back position, which, you know, rightfully so. You bring somebody in in free agency, and he doesn't get the touches that he wants, so that's something that we need to work on. We need to get this run game established and established quickly. Taking a look here at this Bills loss. One for two for Stafford, under 200 yards. Our running game, net seven for 27. Not a bad average that they're doing, but as we've seen in the previous two episodes, Stafford is one of your top runners, if not the top. There's issues there that need addressed. You don't want, you know, Matt Stafford, who, I don't even know how old he is right now, he's out there running for his life. Uh, Receiving-wise, Galladay, 5 for 57. Hawkinson had that touchdown. Defensively, Holman, 5, both 11 tackles. Our, our run defense seems pretty solid, at least with all the TFLs that we've had so far. No sacks for the team. And Tracy Walker had one exception. But we did go ahead and advance, and we finally got our first win there versus the Rams. It, it looks like saying that we're going to go and get Fournette involved a little more has paid off. Stafford, 279, one touchdown, one running the ball, 20 for 65. So that, that's improvement. Plus, you also had DeAndre Swift there, 7 for 41. Uh, receiving wise, Ross finally had his little breakout game this season. Uh, nine for 81. Defensively, Jay Flowers led the league. Tackles seem pretty spread out on the team there. Deshaun Hand had one TFL. Trey Flowers, big day after his little leadership conversation fell flat. He sacks. Uh, one pick there for Coleman. So. After this, we'll 
We'll get into that game there with the Jets and hopefully bring this team to at least what two and four. Time will tell. All right, so prior to the game with the Jets, we were able to move Carry on Johnson for a second round pick with the England Patriots. Uh, we wish him the best. Hopefully, we can turn that draft pick around. Plus, it now gives more opportunities for that, you know, pound and. I don't even, yeah. I don't even know what I'm trying to say here. You know, that, you know, grab and smash. You know, Fournette and Swift. Another cherry we, we ended up getting. We, we're bringing in Connor Williams. He's 25. Uh, we're getting off of Big V's contract. That was It was killing us. And we're also sending a fourth to Pittsburgh. So... Huge improvement there on that offensive line. Now I, we just need to figure out, you know, is he going to stay left guard? Who's going to go to right tackle? Because uh, currently we don't have a backup. So you know, behind the scenes, I'll mess with a little bit, find out who is going to be the, the best one to take over there for Big V to give us the best opportunity. Taking a look at what the, the Jets currently have, uh, since we are, you know, year three, they got J.J. Watt, the uh, the ageless wonder there. Jameson Crowder, Avery Williamson, Marcus May, Terrell Basham, all the, the superstar. So, that's look a lot better than what they do currently, at least with uh, the abilities and develop development traits. And long coverage there by Akuda. I don't know what he was doing there. You know, maybe he saw something there, something shiny in the, in the turf. I don't, I don't know. But yeah, that's not supposed to happen. Big sack by Zach Harrison. Can't let the accumulation of hits and harassment in the pocket get to their quarterback. Got to stop that. Give him clean lanes to throw the football in order to have a. So Tavai can't get off that. Uh, allows him to get a little more. Think it, you know, more manageable than what it truly was. They're third and sixteen. Most likely, just the way our defense been playing, they'll probably convert here. And Akuda is just getting owned over there. Who is that? Is that Jameson? Being a one, then don't break. That's the mentality we have to have right now. And of course, we leave the middle wide open. For some reason, they decided, hey, you know, let's, let's not run goal line. Uh, let's, let's come out here in a pass coverage. All right. So we start off our first drive with a fumble. That's over here living life. You know, having the last two one win teams going at it. And of course, we're not the ones that are able to do anything. Take care of the ball. The things he hears all week in practice, he didn't carry it over into the game. All right, so we can at least get to Darnold, yeah. that little bull rush, but still able to complete the ball. Gain a one. One yard gain. Only got a yard out of that last completion. And that makes us second and nine. 18 yard line. Right, Okuda, come on. Go home. Go home, Okuda. He's at the 50. 
All right, so that right there can at least make up for it a little bit. Tie that game up 7-7 seven, seven. here in the first quarter. Uh, we might screw up. Why don't we take a shot? We might be able to get Galladay. And we overthrew him, but there is pass interference on the play. Works out for us. Able to get the ball well into the Jets' territory. They want to keep running that single high safety. There's a good chance we might be able to get it. Probably holding on us now. Yep, holding on us and bringing it back. Ryan Hudson, he'll be on the bench next week. Not not for the hold, but Ragno finally makes his way back on the team after be, being injured preseason due to my my fault of not turning off the end. You are conscious of all the bodies and the traffic in there. But let's face it, if you're going there, you might as well come down with the football. I had a little window there for B, which was uh, Ross, but it would have been way too much. You know, as you saw, I stepped up in the pocket and it just collapsed. Hard to vary it up and fool the defense. And you hate those situations if you're an O lineman, right? Oh, without a doubt, because you. Our offensive line is so. Most likely knocked us out of field goal. Yep. Not just out of field goal range since we're in the dome. We don't have the wind at our backs or anything. We're not down in Atlanta where it seems like their AC is broken every week. Because even within the dome, it could be closed. There's still at least a little bit of wind going. As they get the stoppage with a little over 50 seconds to go in the first half. On first down, Darnold. Their big sack, knock him out of field goal range. They couldn't contain the shot hand that time as he gets home for the sack. And this one complete to Smith. And he's able to take it across midfield before going out of bounds. Four yards on the completion, and it sets up a and third, down. third down. That was an okay hookup there with his tight end, but unfortunately, they didn't get the kind of yards they had hoped for. That's going to bring up third down. Third and long, it's Darnold. Airing one out for Crowder. Got a man, it's caught inside the 10. <laughs> and we get beat. Dustin Coleman with 10 seconds to go gets beat on the play. From the gun. We're able to get to him. They burn their time out on that big, the big catch there. It'll take it into the second half. Still tied seven seven. We cut a good break right there. our score. Fielded a couple yards into the end zone. And he'll be stopped right around where he would have been if he'd gone down to the knee. Maybe a yard shy there at the 23 yard line. Darnold's going five wide. And they'll try the air now with Darnold. We were able to get, you know, this little spin move there on the right tackle, but he was able to convert. Uh, didn't get there enough time. Hit us with the screen. We were able to stop him. Should be a punt here unless they want to get a little, a little fancy. And it is a punt. Screen pass to break for big yardage. The blocking, the timing of the pass to the runner. Everything has to fit together just right. So finally, you know, we're now in the second quarter. Finally, get a chance to see Matt Stafford in this offense. 
Stafford, the uh -oh. former number one pick back in 2009. This is our time to maybe, maybe somehow we can show the sim like, hey, uh, run the ball. Take what the defense gives him. All right. In a seven, first first run of the game. And Fournette back there. You know. Here's what we got. Use it to our advantage. That time, they just didn't feel like blocking. I know most everybody's like, oh, why didn't you just run the you know inside zone? It's not just played on the offensive side, is it? I mean the the power, and of course I get sucked into the line, able to get the first down, but there was a hole there, and I just could not get to it. So on this play, we'll look for Ross or Galladay, whichever one comes open. Galladay's there, another first, almost a bad read. There was a good chance I could have got picked off there. I won't lie. First and ten now from the thirty-three. Uh, we might screw. Up. Why don't we take a shot? We might be able to get Galladay. And we overthrew him, but there is pass interference on the play. Works out for us. Able to get the ball well into the Jets' territory. They want to keep running that single high safety. There's a good chance we might be able to get it. Probably holding on us now. Yep, holding on us. Him bringing it back. Ryan Hudson. He'll be on the bench next week. Not, not for the hold, but Ragno finally makes his way back on the team after be, being injured preseason due to my my fault of not turning off the injuries. You are conscious of all the bodies and the traffic in there, but let's face it, if you're going there, you might as well come down with the football. I had a little window there for B, which was uh, Ross, but it would have been way too much. You know, as you saw, I stepped up in the pocket and it just collapsed. Hard to vary it up and fool the defense. And you hate those situations if you're an O lineman, right? Oh, without a doubt, because you. Our offensive line is so. Most likely knocked us out of field goal. Yep. Not just out of field goal range since we're in the dome. We don't have the wind at our backs or anything. We're not down in Atlanta where it seems like their AC is broken every week. Because even within the dome, it could be closed. There's still at least a little bit of wind going. And that allows the punt team to get down there and down it inside the 10 because they've had some time. To throw is Darnold. And he'll be out of bounds up past the 10 yard line. Three yards to Being a three and out here would, also, would be very beneficial. A three yard pickup brings up second and seven. Throwing again on second down. I think he had enough to grab that. He'll be a couple yards shy of the 20 at the 18. And that one a first down pickup of eight. So from inside the 20, here's first and 10 at the 18. Out of the shotgun, here's Darnold. And he'll get this up. The vibe just rolls. The Jets are going to keep over there strafing over to the right side of the field. Should have been. He was there. He had that opportunity to make a play, but he was too far. And of course, he let Herndon wide open. It was a cover four. Now the Jets going to use the second of their three timeouts. As they get the stoppage with a little over 50 seconds to go in the first half. On first down, Darnold. 
They're big sacks, knock them out of field goal range. That was an okay hook up there with his tight end, but unfortunately, they didn't get the kind of yards they had hoped for. That's going to bring up third down. Third and long, it's Darnold. Airing one out for Crowder. Yeah, man, it's caught inside the 10. <laughs> and we get beat. Dustin Coleman with 10 seconds to go gets beat on the play. From the gun. We're able to get to him. They burn their time out on that big, the big catch there. It'll take it into the second half. Still tied 7-7. Seven, seven. We cut a good break right there. Fielded a couple yards into the end zone. And he'll be stopped right around where he would have been if he'd gone down to the knee. Maybe a yard shy of there at the 23 yard line. Back onto the field come the Lions for their second overall drive. Their defense has done the job. Now it's the offense's turn. Count the hats. First and ten. Good chance we might be able to break this for a little bit of something. Second half beginning with a run from Fournette. Burnett showing that he still has a, a little bit of truck work there. Currently sitting at negative four passing yards on the game due to the sack. Need to try to, you know, adjust that a little bit. Matt. Alright. Came in there hard on the blitz and got him down nine yards behind the line of scrimmage. We had Galladay there on that play, but here we go, Galladay. Stiff. Look, I'm not afraid to run the slants, cheese. That's gonna work. We'll run it. But sometimes when they've got receivers with speed like this, they don't need to design incredibly complex calls. Sometimes it's just get the ball in his hands and let him do his thing. In a sense, less can Go see if he's able to make that a, a grab. Three yards to gain there, second down. Good throw, good catch, but I really like the run. The drag and be able to run away from seven. defenders. Hard to stick with them for that long. You're better line. against man than zone, or? Better against man, because now you're running away from someone, and you're not the running into a defensive player in another zone. I'm pretty sure at one point it said that... It, or, Three for 40 with Fournette. We haven't ran it since, but now he's barely has anything. And we got Galladay going up. He went for the high point. He wasn't able to get it. Uh, had a solid drive here. We got to keep, keep, keep going. Trying to... We, we need seven. Is really what we need. Jesse James on the fullback dive. Since our team does not have a fullback able to get the get the inside pressure for it. shotgun snap for Stafford. Flush to his right. And he can't get So Matt Stafford can't play maker at all. It's interesting, partner, that most defenses try and guard the 35-yard line actively because they think the way kickers are nowadays, about a Looks like they're in a cover two here. Kind of giving up points, but you if I'm able to place it right, I might be able to hit Cephas. Gonna throw it away. Cephas wasn't able to get good release off the, off the line there. Might be able to hit Galladay or Ross, both pressed. From the gun, here's Stafford, escaping the pressure right. The Jets defense making things too. At least it wasn't a sack. That's the only thing I can say on that play. Big third down here, Ben don't break. Completion was given up, but that's why you play 
Once again, we saw what happened last time we were in this situation. And you don't give up much run after the catch. That's caught. And again. We have a flat out there. Nowhere to be found. Actually, I think it might have been a Cuda out there as well. So they're in a zone coverage here. Looking to throw again on second down. Stafford. He was able to break on it. Avery Williamson. And it brings up third down. At the 18 Boy, how line. good has this defense been seemingly all game long? I really think right from the first snap, I think you're really on to something there. And this passing game, it just can't get off the ground. First down, Cephas. Yeah, this has been pretty well for us, Brock, in there in the slot. They're able to convert on first first down, and that sets up the first and goal. Only way to get the lead here, of course, with a touchdown. And that's what they're gunning for on first and goal. They'll try and run for it with Fournette. And he gets him a little bit closer. He takes it Two minute warning. This is Fournette territory right here. And he's alone in the backfield on second and goal. Fourth quarter down to the final two minutes. And we've got a one score game. So the Lions in possession of the football as we welcome you back. And they're knocking on the door. Second and goal now in a one score game. And he's maybe going to get this back to the four, four but that's about all. Four yards. Hey, let's run the goal on. And then they come out here and throw the ball. Mon Deuce. And the later we go, it's starting to sound like 100,000 in here. Likely the play of the game here, trailing in the final quarter and going for it on fourth and goal. I like Galladay there on that slant. They snap it. Touchdown. Kenny Galladay, his second touchdown of the season. And the Lions are once again going to retake the lead. Wow. I know. Uh, currently sitting here, this two win, two game win streak. Um, we watched the game last week. Uh, Stafford didn't have a terrible game. No, definitely not where in the yardage where I wanted to. Be. Uh, one or three for touchdown, rushing. That is more what I actually want to see. Fourteen eighty five for Fred. He's out there putting in work, receiving. Galladay. Three for th 55, Cephas three for 55. It wasn't really a passing game. It was more, you know, let's establish this run. Defensively to Viola, the way, one PFL, uh, Sacks, the Sean Hand, Zach Harrison, but, and Jeff Akuda had one pick that went 86 yards to the house. All right, first off, that week six win over the Jets. We have a breakout player. I believe it's Cephas. Oh, it's actually Okuda looking to go to Superstar X Factor. Needs to hold the Cowboys to less than 100 yards, force three turnovers, or get Okuda three picks, or force fumbles, tackle, losses, or sacks. Best of luck to you, buddy. It's going to be a tough one. 35-14 loss to the Cowboys. I think we finally figured out this run game. Uh, Akuda didn't get his uh, dev trait going up. Just at least whenever looking at uh, interceptions here. Stafford, 204, 2 for 2. Rushing for net. Swift, not bad. 94 yards. Hawkinson led the way, Galladay, Cephas. I haven't really heard much of Justin Ross. He's kind of been non-existent now. Offensively, Tavai, 13 tackles, Akuda. Had a solid game. 
would have been very nice to get two more TFLs for him. So right before the bye week, we did it. Decided, you know, right, let's go check out the uh, the trade block. Jalen Hurts was up there. Yeah, might as well go bring him over. Uh, you know, that way we at least have a successor to Stafford who could be done after this year. And, you know, who knows? Maybe he's not that fit that Deuce wants. So I guess, it, you know, sit back. We'll see what's going on. And who knows? Maybe Jalen will get his start this season. All right, looking at contracts that we got to do. Uh, Frank Ragno, he's our center. He's our guy. Let's lock him up, keep him here the rest of the time. Uh, Coleman has to do better. Tavai's been pretty well. Stafford? Stafford. He's he's going to be 35 next season. He's just going to continue to press. Uh, I mean, really looking at it, there's not too many people. Uh, Tavai's been pretty solid for us. So that'll be one to look at. See how he continues to progress. If he has a better year than last year, definitely. Numbers are still the same, possibly. But definitely, if there's a dip, and I also have to look. We did change up schemes, so it's one of those things to look at. Coming in off the bye week, suffered another loss, 28-14 to the Atlanta Falcons. Uh, Stafford, he's been as the typical quarterback, 235, two touchdowns, one interception. Uh, rushing the ball, Fournette, 15-52. Keeping the same amount that he, he's been doing, roughly, Galladay. And Hawkinson, you know, good, good games. Receiving wise, defensively, a warrior, he's he knows his contract's up. He must have heard us talking at the bye week. Hey, you got to do better to stay. Had a few TFLs, uh, three sacks, no interceptions on the day. That being said, we have decided to make the move this week against his former team to start Jalen Hurts over Stafford. A couple different things, you know. Seven, you know, he only needs six thousand more experience to go up a de- uh, point compared. Stafford only needs two thousand. Again, he's not in our long-term plans. Most likely, he's going to walk. We need to see what Jalen Hurts can do for us. And what we will do, jump into this game and see if we can go ahead and have Duke and Jalen beat their former team, the Philadelphia Eagles. Right, so here we go. Both teams excited to play. Doug wants to prove that he was there. He was fully control of the team. Deuce, you know, all all top, all sorts of drama there. Uh, it pretty much comes down to it. Doug wants to prove that he is the better offensive coordinator than Deuce Staley, and that is why he was never actually given a chance to call the plays. Expressway and east of Broad Street, we find ourselves at Lincoln Financial Field in South Philly. Nothing was third down. I wonder what was going through his mind. Third and 13, let's make a stop here. He got sacked on the previous play. He knows they're coming after him again. A little bit of guts to stand in there, take the hit, and successfully. And Tavai, instead of just tackling, wrapping him up, he gives him that extra little boost forward for the first down. And then he tries pointing at the ground, saying, Hey, look, I stopped him. Territory, that part of the field where you really want to convert on third down, they did. Big time pickup for them, and now. I think the aggressive play callers think. And Tavai just runs out of the way, not a. Not. Forcing any pressure on Sanders as he just runs straight up the middle for a 40-yard touchdown. 
five yard line. First and ten, it's Hurts. He'll find Swift out of the backfield. Hurts and this pass. will be a gain of five Complete as he gets it to the third. Ball on the five. 30, they will come up with a second and five. At the 30-yard line. Now a guy who went to prep school right here in Philly, DeAndre Swift. DeAndre he works Swift, his way for a couple up past the 30. He's brought down at the 31. Defensively, we always know he is tough and well supported. I think the way that he gets there is he understands what an offense is going to do before the ball's even snapped. A great job of scouting prior to the game, then reading, reacting, and taking the right path to the ball carrier. So not quite a first, first and goal. Down. It's goal first and 10 from the 10. <laughs> And running room hard to come by Sanders here. He gets it down to the eight. He it's a gain of a couple, and it'll Flowers. be second and goal. A pickup of Here's two. Second and goal Brings operating from the eight-yard eight line. At the eight-yard line. Once again with Sanders. They'll get this halfway home Sanders from the eight to the, the four carrier. on a gain of four. He was brought down at the four-yard line. Two straight line. shots on the four ground. Now on third, up. you go to the air. Third. I think the possibility goal. exists, and if you're doing it, you're probably going play action since you ran it twice. But I often think that second down is a time you go play action and throw the ball. I say commit to the... And this is caught in the end zone by yep. Jalen Rager. Touchdown, Eagles. Can't get any pressure with this D-line. And Winston Steele casually rolls out, throws back across his body. Typical MVP. Once prior to the knee injury, anything to increase our chances. That's just a horrible throw. Should have never even did. They tried to throw on second down, unsuccessful. Now it's third and one. They'll try and run here with Swift, and he'll have the first down, getting this one to the 14-yard line. Taken down. They're able to convert with a gain of four. Flush to his right. He'll run it. He'll get three yards on the scramble there at second the down. The Lions need to move. They're hustling to the line now. Brings up second and seven. Second down. And Here's Jalen Hurts. Flushed out right. And, and Slay down. makes the diving interception as Galladay was coming across wide open. There as his guys will get the football back. Lions offense ready to kick off their next drive. And that first half, one to forget really on both sides of the ball. They got to find some way to string something together here, don't they? Yeah, they're down big right now. So as you mentioned, Hawkinson with a huge catch. Together, get some consistency. Over. I didn't see the number. Calm their whole team Again, down 14. and find a way to get back and in this one. Because right now you're first down now. big. You're being shut out. Let's see if this is the drive that kind of kick starts them. They'll throw on first down with Hurts. That's complete to DeAndre Swift out of the backfield. And he'll be out of bounds Hurts after pass. getting this one across complete the 40. Three yards Swift. the game there, second down. At the 41 that first down line. completion it's only netted of three. Second, seven. second and seven. A handoff to Fournette. And he's going to take this one up only to about Leonard the 44 Fournette, yard the ball line. Carrier. Three yards is half Let's of what they needed. Now the can they get the other three here on a third down? This and offense in desperate down. need of a conversion as they come up on third down. Forced out to his left. He's got there you go, Ross. A real late read. Song. He was held without a catch in the first half, but he's got one but here. He, he was able to go and hold on to that ball. On any given get us down, that first down. Can you exactly move change? Exit points are going to be. On this play, he was flushed to his left, still on the run, able to accurately throw the football for a nice first down. Hurst just sails the ball. The intended target, TJ Hawkinson. That'll bring up second area. Another attempt, another incompletion. And when I look at the scoreboard and where we are in this game, it comes to mind that they have to start getting the ball in the hands of their playmakers. Throw it to the guys that maybe can take a short pass and turn it into a long game or make people miss downfield. They've got to have points. And the guys who can put the ball in the end zone, they're the ones that need to touch the ball. I love the enthusiasm to come back to the ball. 
comes the time. You just need to let that ball drop to the. Sets up to throw it. They'll try and set up the screen to Swift. Swift able to break the initial tackle and go ahead and get the first down with the personal foul, roughing the passer. Back on another 15. Fletcher Cox had way too much momentum. Let's face it, they thought they had bent but could absorb that, right? Instead, they broke as a result of their own penalty. Pulling that right up the middle. The one for the truck. They missed it. His first rushing touchdown as a Detroit Lion. So a very interesting final chapter to this proverbial book here. All right, so yeah, I sim through the rest of the game because I was tired of playing it. And the defense held them to a field goal to put them at twenty. But by then, twenty to seven in the fourth quarter. As you see on the screen here, twenty-one twenty. We came back and won the game. So, yeah. It's a shitty way to win. It shows how bad I am. But a win's a win. Looking at it. Hurts 22-34. 19, two touchdowns and an interception. Rushing for net, you know, solid game. Hurts. He's a scrambling quarterback. What do you expect? Receiving. Dustin Ross had a big game. He must have had those five other catches at once we started the sim. Uh, I mean, overall, I play horrible for three quarters. The sim plays fantastic for one. So you can't beat that. All right. So finishing out the year, we finished. We won two of our last seven. What is it? Five. Eleven, I think. Uh, the biggest thing that happened this year, was, of course, the trade for Hertz, and actually had Kenny Galladay. Go up to X Factor. He had another breakout scenario this year, and yeah, he was able to get it. So that's that's a big plus. I uh, would like to see more silver, gold on this team. Uh, currently, it just seems like it's unlikely. Uh, Harris came out as a uh, star, which for some reason only on some sets he was in. Big, real bad for us. Um, we're gonna sum up here to the Super Bowl. And we're gonna take a look at schedule take a look at the stats for this year get a good look at what we were hurts not you know better than Stafford coming in halfway through the year um, so I'm, I believe we made the right choice there all but 400 more yards he threw the ball about 30 more times. But he still made 30 more questions. So, I mean, not bad. Jumping into a new scheme right away. Having to figure it out. 16 and Rushing. Fournette. Yeah. Early in the year, he, he didn't catch on. Uh, but then eventually he got much better. Holiday. Cephas, Ross. We might have to look at moving Ross down to the slot. I don't know. Six four. Uh, 
defensively to Vi. He he's earned a new contract. Almost a hundred tackles by him. Nine TFLs. Sacks. Trey Flowers hand. Still not the best. Finally, we get to see some inner here. Coleman, Tracy Walker, two to head two, one being in the for touchdown. So, I mean, still, he, had, he led the team in deflections, but he was also third in loud catches. So, Huda really needs to step up his. We were 30th in offense. 31st in defense. Hopefully, we can see a much bigger improvement once actually his team. Uh, looking at yearly awards, Baker is your MVP. NFC, you got Trevor Lawrence winning Offensive Player of the Year. Hasselwood coming in at eight. Zach Harrison coming in at ten, which it would have been a lot better if we actually had him playing season. I didn't realize it. Oh, Fournette didn't make it up here, number nine. So not much for individual awards here. But Bowman and Walker, three and four, that's a pretty good cap, uh, company there. You know, sitting right behind Lattimore, Slay, right above Murphy, whoever that is. Not bad company until I saw Darby's name. So yeah, like I said, not much for individual awards. We take what we get. Uh, I'm going to finish up this scouting and then jump up to off season. All right, here we are, week one of free agencies. So we got a good bit of money, uh, but we need to spend it wisely. Just looking at some of the top here. See Hayward. Got to really see like what we actually. Our team. Of course, I'm bringing just sweat. Defense tackle, Ionidas, Sheldon Richardson. Oh, like real big, like, hey, sign me. Of course, it's not like that. It's not the last of, so I don't want all our money. That makes sense. Linebacker. Do we go for Gary? Do we go for the dev trait scheme fit? Gary wants a little less money. Try to bring Lee in. Ninety five, so might bump it up just a little bit. Make it a flat 1896. That gives us the top bid. Middle linebacker, you got Bobby Wagner. Or we're looking at a backup or to actually start. Still want to be.
Always go for Kevin King. Josh Jackson wouldn't be a bad pickup. Coleman we did bring back on a here. We'll let our corners our corners ride. Harvey, he's playing pretty solid for strong safety. Walker doing his thing. So yeah, I mean we're gonna uh, we won't we won't be big this year. Look at getting Kelly uh come in with us. So and stage two. All combined stats, such as the 40 yard dash, are now available. All right, so in he did not sign with us. Oh, all right, so here we are, six pick in the draft. Take a look at what we got here. Um, outside linebacker, big need. This looks good, but he's one of them. Yeah, we can. Possibly get him there in the third. Left outside. Always improve our offensive line. Corners. This round. We saw it looks like a big hitter type. Possibly, you know, around that Jalen Ramsey. Build. Remember Lloyd Phillips. Uh, Looking around here, a bunch of receivers. The line. Do we do we go out here? Do we try to get Zier Potts, who was protected at third? Could be, yeah, could be a Bobby Wagner protege type kind of. Uh, yeah, we'll we're gonna take. Him seventy six. We got he was number five. We got him at six. Uh, so I mean, yeah, we'll have to remember that guy. See what he came out to be. Kings are now. Right, so he was gone. So we took Kevin Tol Tolvener. Uh, he was ranked number thirty two. We got him at thirty eight. Solid corner. Great combine stats. Good speed. Definitely need to get that coverage up there a little bit, but. Is that a good starting point? Uh, so, him, Huda, Bowman for one year. We'll have to see how that works out. Alright, so Doug Austin. Skipped out the combine. Unknown reasons. Uh, the, the rumor meal no, was something to do with, you know, dealing with sick grandmother. Unfortunately, she's passed. He had to make that decision. Do I help her out? You know, do what I can for the family. Go to the combine. What do I do? So with pick twenty-two of the second round, we the Detroit Lions are going to take Doug Austin, six-five, two ninety-seven, run stuffer out of TCU. The seventy-seven overall, ranked number three in two tr true talent. We drafted him there at 54. Absolutely great pick. 93 sh uh, strength, 77 block shedding, power moves, you know, good, good tackle. That is something that we defensive. So now we sit here in the third. Might as well go out there and grab our middle linebacker, George Moses, that we talked about earlier. Uh, one, of the, one of the few linebackers that LSU has produced that were uh, recognized as a third round, uh, first rounder. So with George Moses, 72, number 22 in true talent, true talent, another solid, solid draft pick for the Detroit Lions. All right, we're going to reach a little here, I'll build up our offensive line. Uh, Azeem Ivory was projected an early fifth rounder. Picking here at number six in the fourth. Mid second round pick. Uh, the Vikings are again number forty seven. True talent. We got him at one hundred two. Can't complain about that. So we will continue here with the draft. On to 
the fifth round. All right, checking in here before uh, we end this video. So we got Galladay, a new X Factor that was received last year. Hasselwood came out as a star. Hurts like to see improvement on him. John Ross still there's star. Uh, offense all looks the same. Then I went. I took a look at the defense. We got Reeves Maben went up a superstar. Um, Super Bowl week, he got his development trait. And Tompkins went up as well. Say the same time. Another, yep, he went up there uh, during the Super Bowl, even though they didn't play. But I mean, yeah. Buddha's over there taking over the true for one corner spot. Uh, Rock, Doug Austin, uh, as our DT1, and Zach Harrison as DT2. Other than that, the team looks the same. Come a long way as far as team overall. We're now sitting at a four overall, so. Things are on the upside. That's typically about where you want to be, if not like a 78 in the sim for some reason. Uh, but yeah, so I appreciate everybody taking the time to watch this video. Uh, if you haven't yet, if you hit that sub button, hit that like, hit the, uh, you know, Drop some comments down at the bottom. All my social medias have been going uh, up on screen. My Twitter, Twitch, my Instagram, and of course the YouTube channel. Uh, leave those comments. Let me know what I can do better. What, in your opinion, any moves you think I should make. Uh, my Instagram's up there as well. But till next time. This is me signing off. Billy is out.